Save time with the built-in comment bank for Google Classroom. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. My name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Now the built-in comment bank for Google Classroom enables us to leave comments on our students' work, save them in that comment bank and then reuse them later whenever this same issue comes up. So let's have a look at what this looks like. I'm in my Google Classroom right now. I'm going to go to the classwork page and here I'm going to go to the latest assignment that was assigned to my students. You can see here written task about the design lab. One has handed in his or her work, so we're going to go ahead and open up that work. You can see student one has handed in the work. I'm going to open up this work and we can now start giving feedback. Now this does not have a rubric attached to it. If you want to learn more about rubric, I'll leave a link in those cards at the top, but we are going to be using manual written comments. So here you can see the first thing they've written is I really love the work I've been doing in the design lab and I would like to have them expand upon that. So I'm going to highlight this part and I'm going to leave a comment right here. Please tell me more about the work you've completed, more detail, more information. Let's go ahead and leave this comment by clicking on comment. And that comment is now right there on that document. Now let's say that this sort of comment comes up multiple times. Well, I can store it in my comment bank. Now here on the right hand side, you'll see I have an extra icon. This is my comment bank. When I click on that, I have an empty comment bank, but I can manually add comments by clicking on that plus icon. If I already have a comment in my document and I want to add that comment to my comment bank, I can do that as well. So let's go ahead and select this comment I've just left click on those three dots and we're going to add it to the comment bank. Let's go ahead and click on that right there and add to comment bank. As you can see, this has now been added to my comment bank. Let's say that this comes up later again. I can now highlight whatever I want to leave a comment for, click on add a comment and then copy by clicking on the clipboard icon right there, pasting it in. Now this is not the only way that you can access this comment bank. There is one more hidden way, and that is by simply using the hashtag. So if I now type hashtag here, you can see at the bottom, it automatically pulls up a number of options pulled in from that comment bank. So let's try that one more time. We're going to add a number of extra comments to our comment bank. We're going to say great work, We're going to add more detail, more information is needed. There we go. So these are the optional comments that I've added to my comment bank. Let's highlight where they talk about their prototyping skills. Well, I need more information. What exactly are they going to do to work on their prototyping skills? Let's click on that plus add a comment. And now instead of copying and pasting, simply type hashtag. The hashtag automatically pulls up the four comments in my comment bank, and I can simply select the one I need, add more detail, enter that comment in, and leave it on the student's work. This is incredibly useful, especially when you're giving feedback to multiple students, multiple pieces of work, and you just need access to that comment bank. Now this comment bank works across different assignments and different students. So let's jump into another assignment now and see what it looks like when we use it for a different assignment. I'm going to go back to our main class, class work. We're going to open up this old assignment where it says demo group work. Let's go ahead and let's open up this piece of work. Empty work as an example. Well, I'm going to leave a comment. Click on that comment and again, type in that hashtag and you can see that same comment bank is being pulled up. You can also manually go to your comment bank on the right hand side and find your comments here. Let's say that you have hundreds of different comments. Well, you can always use that search function in the top right corner to search through your different comments. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video, share it with someone who's using Google Classroom, or maybe share it with someone who's never seen the power of Google Classroom in action and show them how they can save some time. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.